Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete, and guess what? I have that one all-American sports car that is the longest running nameplate in the whole auto industry. What is it? It's this car right here. This is a 2023 Corvette, that C8 mid-engine. This Stingray is a Z51. But before we get into this Zeus Brown iconic sports car, let's talk about what's going on here. The Chevrolet Corvette, like I said at the start of this re review, it is the longest running single model nameplate. Corvette's been around since 1953, and for 2023, not only celebrating its 70th anniversary, but also we are on the cusp of that all new C8 Corvette E-Ray model that's coming out for model year 2024. Now, the C8 Corvette has not had it easy. It actually debuted during the start of the pandemic for model year 2020, and it was hard on those owners trying to get their C8s because of production issues, factories being shut down, and of course the chip shortage. Well, guess what? 2023 is in full swing, and with this Stingray, they've been able to really ramp up that production. Now, the great news is when it comes to price, the numbers have not really risen when it comes to that actual MSRP. But what I wanna find out is, if you're looking for a new performance car, is this the best way to go, the only way to go, especially if you're considering a Mustang Dark Horse, which remember is redesigned for model year 2024? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our Z51 equipped Stingray and find out. Right off the bat, the color. It's one of those love it or hate it colors. It's called Zeus Brown. It reminds me of a root beer. So as a kid, I was really into root beer floats. Loved a good root beer float. I'm getting a little bit of extra saliva buildup in my mouth thinking of the root beer floats with this Zeus Brown. But let me know in the comment section how you feel about the color. Now at the front of the business, this is my favorite part of the C8 Stingray. You got a great style to the headlights, of course, full LEDs all the way around. My other favorite part, besides the angle of the headlights, is how ginormous the corner air intakes are. For the heat exchangers, you can see behind there, you do have that carbon flash metallic, which you can get body colored as an option, but I do like the carbon flash metallic. And then you'll notice, since we have the Z51 equipped Corvette, you do have that front splitter along the bottom, which is really nice. That lets you know that it's a Z51. That's part of the package. We're gonna show you the rest of the goodies in a few moments. Now, as we come across that Stealth Fighter nose, definitely looks aggressive, but looks Corvette. You got the cross flags. It's been there since 1953. They've changed the badging over the years, but it's always been there. Checkered flag, because this is America's sports car, and the Chevrolet bow tie, bow tie flag. Now on the lower portion, you do have the Corvette name stamped in, full carbon flash metallic, that's what they call this material. You do have ginormous air intakes for brake cooling and all the rest of the aero. And like I said, the addition of this splitter is gonna give you some extra downforce. Now the problem is, and you can hear the sirens, those are the Mustang owners that are having heart problems because they wish they could have got a C8 Corvette. But we're gonna continue because I'm feeling pretty good. I did some nice cardio this morning at 6 a.m. and I feel ready to rock and roll. But back to what I was talking about with the Z51 equipped, what's interesting, it's actually a little bit slower than the non-Z51 equipped Corvette. The reason why is this gives us downforce and you'll see the other part, which is a rear wing, gives us downforce, but that creates drag. Now this particular one, besides the optional Zeus Brown paint, also has the active lifting of the front end. So you have that power lift. It'll save up to a thousand different locations in the GPS, and that'll stop you from scraping this beautiful front end of this Stingray. Now, as we rise up, like I said, the Stealth Fighter style, style you do have your front mounted trunk. That was a non-negotiable to have storage up front, storage out back. And then as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? There's like 20 different wheels to choose from. This particular one has that snowflake style. I love the way it's got the Corvette Racing Center caps there with Jake. That's the mascot of the Corvette Racing Team. Digging the silver, and then you'll notice that radiant red 
six piston Brembo caliper with the Z51 script on it. So that's another part that when you go Z51, you're getting the extra aero, you're getting increased braking. So you're getting better braking capability. This one does have the Magnaride suspension. That's gonna automatically every nanosecond adjust the suspension. Great system, Chevrolet and General Motors was the one that actually developed it in the late 80s and early 90s. If you're wondering with Joe, what's the size of this wheel? Up front, we have this 20 inch, excuse me, 19 inch wheel, 245 on the width, 35 series sidewall, and we do have the Michelin Pilot Sport four tires on this, four S, excuse me, to give us that nice grip, but also give us that durability out of the tire. Now, as we rise up, you'll notice that great style. We do have, of course, the Zeus Brown on the mirror caps. You do have your turn signals built in. Just so you know, the side mirror on a Stingray is actually further out. The passenger side mirror is further out than the driver's side. That allows you to see past the massive rear end of this vehicle. This one, just like every coupe, has the removable Targa roof, color matched. So either you get a coupe or you get a folding hard top convertible. I like the coupe because you could get a bird's eye view of the engine. This comes off very easily. Carbon flash metallic along those massive air intakes. And you could see, ah, no, just kidding. Uh, you could see how massive those openings are. Nothing bit me in there. There wasn't like a tarantula. At least I hope there wasn't. Now working our way back, the one thing I am gonna zonk is this right here. I don't like the large amount of gloss black. Look at the fingerprints, look at that. Now, now somebody could do an FBI, uh, FBI fingerprint test on me. I've never been in trouble, so I'm fine with that, but I'm not fine with the gloss black. So I am gonna zonk that. Working our way towards the rear, you can see how they bring it into the rear hatch. You'll notice the carbon flash metallic with the wire mesh. Part of the problem with this is that when it rains, it pours literally on the engine. So I'm not a big fan how they don't have anything to get the water off the engine in the engine compartment, but I do like the wire mesh finish to let that heat radiate out of there. Coming towards the rear, when we look at the rear tire step, you're looking at a 20 inch wheel, 305 on the width with the Z51 performance package. Like I said, you got the Brembo's all four corners. There's that nice radiant red uh, brake caliper. And then you also have an electronic limited slip diff out the back to get the power to the ground very effectively. We swing it around, you got this little bit of a basket, double basket handle spoiler. This is part of the Z51 performance package. Love the way you got the carbon flash Stingray here. Last time a Stingray was on a Corvette was 1976. Then it came back out in 2014 with the C7 and now it's still here. Speaking of Stingray, I really feel the way that they work the rear glass and this rear engine hatch area looks like a Stingray. Carbon flash metallic, you can see the LT2 engine peekaboo ICU underneath that glass back. And then as we drop it down, I, it's growing on me. At first I didn't like the rear end on a C8 Corvette. I actually, I like the Z06 better, uh, the way that these are kind of flatter and squeezed out, but you have functional heat extractors on the back, carbon flash metallic with the LED lighting, quad tip exhaust, two on one side, two on the other, lets you know that that's a Stingray. Remember, the Z06 has the four exhausts in the center. Stingray does not. As we come across the back, we got the Corvette name, prominently displayed, so much history in that name. And then on the bottom portion, you have this massive rear diffuser with the wire mesh. Looks very classy, very high end, but also provides that exhaust heat to come out the back. Here's one little final fun tip I wanna tell you before we look at the engine. Corvette, where did they get that name from? Believe it or not, a Corvette is a real thing. Besides being America's sports car, it is a small cruising battleship in the Navy. Very maneuverable, very fast, goes to figure why they put it on the name of this car. Very nimble, very fast. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop that engine hatch and check out the LT2. All right guys, we got that rear hatch lifted. You do have hood struts to hold it up and look at what we have underneath there. There's the heart of the C8, that mid-engine LT2 V8 engine. It is old school push rod technology to give us that old school feel with the torque and of course the sound. 
You go Z51, you're getting an extra five horsepower. So you can brag to all your friends, 495 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in this Stingray, 2.9 seconds, top speed, 184 miles per hour because of the extra drag, MPGs 15 in the city, 27 on the highway, and this vehicle weighs 3,665 pounds. Now the cool thing is, you could actually see the wires going to the MagnaRide suspension. Nice to have that option with the Z51 package. Love the freaking top of the engine there. That bright, radiant red matches our calipers. Spot on the money. And then this was another non-negotiable, an actual storage space that could fit up to a full set of golf clubs. I don't know who in the hell is gonna take this to the golf course, but it's there. Where I'm going to be taking it is one of two places, my favorite twisty roads or a racetrack. But hey, to each their own. But why don't we go ahead, you softly bring this down and it pulls it down for you. You don't have to slam it. Why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's fire up this thing and hear its roar. All right, guys, we are inside this Caffeine Metallic 2023 Corvette Stingray Z51 equipped C8. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I need a performance car in my life. I want a performance car in my life. I'm sick of driving my kids around in a big old minivan. I want a Corvette. I want a Mustang. I want something that's fast. How much is this? Well, this is an LT2. You got the Caffeine Metallic color. You got the Z51 package. It has a price of $80,000, but let's see what else you get for the money to the door panels. I love the way you could option a new Corvette. We got the tan stitching, nice black soft touch material. We got the Bose sound system, two memory seat settings, and then you'll notice the tan leather there really makes that door panel pop. The good news is you got a large enough door pocket to where you could easily fit eight Twinkies in there, and that's going to be important for all the haters that are jelly at you because you have a C8 Corvette and they don't. Now going from the door panel to the dash, same story. The stitching is great, really, really nicely done. And then one of the things is that you have this massive bridge here that separates you and the passenger, but that's all because of the E-Ray Corvette. What you do have is that eight inch infotainment system, same system we've shown you. You got the automatic lift. This is gonna control that eight speed Tremec DCT, dual clutch transmission. You got your mode selector switch underneath this little palm pad. And then there's all your array of buttons, heated seats, ventilated seats, and dual climate control. I do have a nice little storage area here with a USB-C, USB-A, aux jack. And I could put, I would say $600,000 in there. Not cash, duh, 600, <laughs> 600 gram bars. Yes, the candy bar. They really have it. Go to the store. You could actually eat 100 grand every day of your life. May not be the healthiest choice, but it's a choice that you can make. You do have wireless charging. You actually slide it right in this little compartment. I love the way all 2023 Corvettes have 70th anniversary on the center speaker. And then you got these awesome optional seats. Carbon fiber, love the material. The tan is actually working for me. Full electric assist. And, of course, we have the optional tan seat belts to go with it. But why don't you go ahead, get your butt over here. I want to show you around this D-shaped steering wheel in the C8. All right, guys, we are in the business time end of this 2023 C8 Corvette. You got the Stingray nameplate. You can see that every time you get in and out. Pedal box right out of a race car. And this is what I'm always talking about. Aluminum throttle, brake pedal, and aluminum dead pedal. We got the Corvette all-weather floor mats worth an extra 10 horsepower. Seat controls on the side are a little difficult to get to, but not that big of a deal. Once you set it, you could totally forget it because it's lined up perfect. And I gotta give it to the engineers and designers at Chevrolet. I'm six feet tall and there's plenty of room in here. This is probably one of the performance cars where 
you could fit some of the largest people. Steering wheel, D-shaped, very unique. It's got Alcantara optional with that leather top dead center, the Corvette badge. You got the Zora button, put that on, and then you can get into your Z modes. You do have metal, massive paddles to go up and down that eight speed dual clutch transmission. And then we got our digital gauge cluster in the center. All the information you could ever want or need right at your fingertips. And you got that awesome tack right there. Plus we have a head up display in this 2LT. We got a frunk. I've already shown it to you in other videos. We're not showing it now because if you're ready, I'm ready. We're gonna go on throttle in this C8. All right, guys, we are leaving Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete. We are inside this Caffeine Metallic C8 Stingray Z51 equipped. If you're ready, I'm ready. We got to go on throttle from a dead stop to start off this on throttle drive portion of the review. Are you ready? Because I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! One of the things I love about the C8 Stingray is that LT2 has what traditional Corvette fans want. That deep down low grunt and torque. And that's something that if you've driven a Z06, the new Z06, you don't get that. And that's okay because the Z06 is that high screaming flat plane crankshaft where the torque comes in higher. But it's nice to still have the variety of engines to get in a C8 because it gives you such a unique driving experience. Not that one is bad and one is better or whatever, it's just different and different is good, especially when you add in on top of that, the upcoming E-Ray, which has the same LT2 pushrod V8, but with the electric motor driving the front wheels to give you all wheel drive. I have it in manual shift mode and we have everything set up to full performance levels with the Z mode button. Are you ready? On throw, here we go. Yeah. Fast shifting on the brakes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at this, smooth as butter. holds a line well very very balanced and that's the whole point right that was the whole point of the c8 is to get the engine off the front of the corvette and get it in the middle now that doesn't mean that you have perfection every time there are certain parts of the corner that you still need to be very careful when you're driving a mid-engine car so don't think just because it's mid-engine you could just go flat out in a corner it doesn't work that way but it definitely gives you that 50-50 weight distribution that even Zora Duntov back in the late 1950s knew that the Corvette eventually needed. The Tremec is a great transmission choice because of how fast the shifts are, how smooth the shifts are. Uh, there's still that part of me that just wishes they would have done a manual transmission, at least like a special edition, like a save the manual special edition C8. But if you're gonna put a transmission in, Tremec knows how to make great transmissions and this DCT does the business. Second gear, slow roll, on throw, here we go. Just pulls. God, the sound, love the sound. That's half the battle with this whole setup. Of course, being here in Florida, you have people that, uh, do what they want when they're driving and that's fine because uh we'll just work around them they're like chicanes that's what i like to call them sometimes they're moving chicanes and as you can see sometimes they're just chicanes sitting there the way the interior is, is set up when they say they looked at an f-16 fighter cockpit you feel like you're in a jet fighter cockpit everything is arranged all around the driver the most important person in the car I mean, unless you were driving your significant other, then that's the most important person. But right now, being here by myself, I'm numero uno, and the C8 Stingray lets you know that. But let's do slow roll first gear. We did slow roll second gear, are you ready? I'm ready. On throw, here we go, oh my God. <laughs> Woo! On those brakes. Brake 
brakes are great, man. Those Z51 equipped brakes really slow us down nicely. Mm. Golly, man, I tell you. I'll be honest, um, uh, the C8 is, has been slowly growing on me since 2020. I'm a big Corvette aficionado. I still feel like a Corvette to me, the engine needs to be up front. And at the end of the day, I would buy a C7 over a C8. I know that sounds crazy, but that's just me. Technically, I would love a C6 Z06. 427, manual transmission. Now we're talking. But if we're comparing this to the Dark Horse, this definitely feels like the better car. I mean, the construction, the materials, the one thing that the Dark Horse has over this, remember, is that uh, manual transmission. And not to say that the Dark Horse isn't an awesome performance car, because it is. It's just obviously this is this is on another level. But remember, this being an LT2, we're looking at $80,000. This is not a $60,000 C8. And I have not seen ever a $60,000 C8. Never. No websites. Bring a trailer, auto trader, cars and bids. Have never seen it. So this whole idea that everybody just says, well, I'll just go get a $60,000 C8 is a bunch of BS because I have not seen one. If you've seen one, put it down in the comment section. Tell me where you saw it so I can check it out. But the other thing that I think is great about this car is that with the Magnarite suspension, it, it drives phenomenal. It's smooth. It is able to adjust the compression and the rebound damping all within nanoseconds. We got the lift system to where if you go in an area that has those Mount Everest size speed bumps, you could get over it very, very easily without scraping any of the beautiful front end of this Corvette. But we got to do it one more time, right? We got to, we got to do it. I actually like that slow roll from first gear. It really put me back in the seat like a horse was kicking me in my head. Are you ready? We're doing uh, 12 miles an hour. Oh, that's right, we got <laughs> Love it. Mm. On the brakes. do this all day long we got other cars that we need to review today we're filming 15 different cars Steven wanted to do it I think he's a madman but you know what that's what you need are some madmen around you to make things happen but we're gonna get back to Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete and wrap this one up so I'll see you in a split second all right guys <laughs> yes it's been another one of those fun on throttle days here from Jaguar Land Rover St. Pete I never got to thank Miro Mike and the rest of the crew getting us access to this Zeus Brown 2023 Corvette C8 Stingray. Let me know what you think. Are you going C8? Do you think for the money it's the best performance car out there? Or are you going to go with the Mustang Dark Horse, which remember you can get with a manual transmission? But let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. Follow him on Instagram. Let him know that you appreciate him because I definitely appreciate him. Thank you, Stephen, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.